President Bola Tinubu has warned ministers and presidential aides that anyone who underperforms will be sacked. The president gave the warning while declaring open the 2023 cabinet retreat for ministers, presidential aides, permanent secretaries, and top government functionaries with a focus on delivering on the renewed hope agenda. President Tinubu, who charged cabinet members to be intellectually inquisitive, announced the setup of a result and delivery unit to be headed by his special advisor on policy coordination, Hadiza Bala Usman. He reiterated that healthcare and education are key to eradicating poverty, saying Nigeria, as a great country, is one family, and his administration is determined to renew the hope of the hopeless. No, I assure you, you have a free hand. You must be intellectually inquisitive to ask how, why, when, and why it must be immediate. You have responsibility to serve the people. I've taken a young lady, very dynamic, and this Abala is man to urge that delivery unit. Let us be determined that corruption will go. Progress will be achieved. Better wages for our workers. Living wages. We will transform the economy to work for millions of our citizens. We must take 50 million people out of poverty. Delivering the opening remarks, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, George Akume, charged them to speak the truth, be loyal to the President, be accountable, and adhere to best practices to achieve the renewed hope agenda of national unity and economic growth. Distinguished participant, the high point of this retreat will feature the signing of the Ministerial Performance Bound by Ministers, Ministers of State and Permanent Secretaries. The bonds contain the ministerial deliverables alongside their key performance indicators, KPIs. Each of the KPIs contain the baseline data and targets for the next four years. Ministry performance will be assessed quarterly beginning from the end of the first quarter of 2024. In this regard, ministers and permanent secretaries are enjoined to prioritize implementation of these deliverables through appropriate budgeting implementation to ensure the achievement of Mr. President's priorities. British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Richard Montgomery, who said he admires the leadership and international engagement of President Tinubu, expressed the United Kingdom's readiness to continue to support the government in a spirit of mutual respect to move Nigeria forward. Also, World Bank Country Director Shubham Chaudhary said President Tinubu can count on the global institution to support the government's program to lift Nigerians out of poverty and provide renewed hope. Nigeria faces big security, economic and social challenges in a global context of big challenges, a difficult global economy, shifting geopolitical and foreign policy pressures. I applaud the big and bold economic reforms that you are taking forward. I admire your leadership of ECOWAS, your strong voice on democracy, and your G20 international engagement, all of which have thrust Nigeria back onto the international stage. So we are here to support your programs. We take your guidance from you. But even though we have the word bank in our names, I hope you will think of us as more than a bank. I mean, our real hope is that you will trust us and that we will be able to earn your trust, that we have something more to offer in the nature of solutions to help you think through and then implement uh, the priorities, the focus areas that you've laid out by bringing in ideas and experience. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.